The other thing too is, Bobby, that everybody will give you a reason why this is not a good idea. You know, those, those people who are really caring about your, you know, they care about you. They're not trying to, to, to pull you down, but they are trying to protect you. In, and you have to decide for yourself what it is that you want, what it is that you love. Do you love this business? Do you want it to succeed? What is your goal at the end of the day? here's another thing that sometimes sounds a little radical, but you know what? There are people out there who love to do home staging. They love the whole transformation. They love all of that, but they are not meant to be a business owner. They yes. don't like having to deal with the regulations. They don't want to have to deal with the warehousing. They don't want to have to, they don't want to deal with all those details. Well, guess what? At least here in the States, and I'm hoping this is happening, happening in Australia as well, the industry is maturing to the point where, you know what? Um, when I was in Denver two weeks ago, I spoke to the uh, RISA uh, Greater Denver Area chapter there. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really interesting because everyone was uh, introducing themselves, their name, the name of their company, and, and whether they did occupied vacants, both, whatever it happened to be. And there was one woman who came in and she said, hi, you know, I'm so-and-so. And I just want a stage. I don't want to own a company. There was a feeding frenzy of the other stagers to get her business card. Right. Because you know what? We're, we're mature enough now that if you just want to be a home stager and do the work, there are opportunities for you. There are. Now, I know Australia, you guys are still maturing through the process, but I really want to throw out here, just as kind of a seed to kind of grow out there in some people's minds, if you're not meant to be a business owner, because I got to tell you, a lot about being a business owner is not fun. It's really not. Yeah. And they keep changing the target, the bullseye. You know, it's like whatever the regulations are, that's where they are. <laughs> and you're constantly trying to keep up with that. But if you just love the, you know, perhaps what you do is you approach stagers and let them know, I don't want to have a business. I just want to stage. Yeah. And really really great positions that are developing as a result for uh, folks because as a business owner of a home staging company there comes a point you no longer can take the time to stage you yes. need to run your business so if yes. you've got good stagers who are working with you and for you that's how you build your business so there's a lot of opportunity out there we just need to kind of change the shape sometimes of what we're thinking 